Welcome to Mr. Foy's Hazel. Well, on this program, I have another sort of a matching uh, game for you. I'm going to be dealing with a, uh, a list of personalities, professions, activities as follows and match, match these up with various animal critters, cartoon animals that is. All right, let's go with politician, hitchhiker, professor, banjo player, cowboy, and finally, the boss. Starting with politician, uh, let me see here. Why don't we have a dog as a politician? Now, when you think of politicians, you think of their running for office. And so our political dog here is, has got the appropriate turn out the vote expression on his face. And if he's at a political rally or just down at the shopping mall, if he sees a prospective voter, he is likely to extend his hand and say, hi, my name is so-and-so and I'm running for such and such an office. And I hope you'll support me in the upcoming election. Of course, as I've said before on this program, sometimes our cartoon critters uh, wear pants and sometimes they don't. I guess you could say that since he's out meeting the public, he, he should have worn his breeches. But anyway, that, that's my version of a glad-handing, campaigning dog. Now, you notice... Oh, you may remember that the second activity involves a critter out hitchhiking. Now, that, while I think about what animal I'm going to use here, I'll go ahead and draw the hand with the thumb extended. Why don't we have a cat as a hitchhiker? All right, now if, if the animal is hitchhiking he, and he's hoping to go that way, then if he's out by the side of the road, he'll be looking in this direction at the oncoming traffic, hoping that some kind soul will uh, be kind enough to stop and give him a lift. Uh, I don't know if he, this cat has some clothes on too, but uh, maybe his pants are in the bag, I don't know. Or maybe it's just cat food. But here's a, a traveling cat. This represents the side of the road with grass and he's hoping to uh, grab a lift to the, to the next uh, city or wherever. So starting out with uh, domesticated critters, when we look at the professor, I'm thinking, well, what about an owl as a professor? That seems kind of appropriate because as we've noted before on this program, uh, uh, traditionally there's a tendency to think of the owl as a kind of a scholarly type. It kind of looks that way. But being in the classroom at a lecture stand is a little different from being up in the barn or on a tree limb. So here's my professorial owl lecturing on some topic, maybe, maybe ornithology. Uh, look that one up and see what you think about that term. Years ago, uh, stereotypes of uh, professors 
uh, often gave them a bow tie. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe it's easier to draw. But anyway, here's our Al. He's got a class full of students out there somewhere, and he's got his notes. And so you have a, a politician, a hitchhiker, and a professor. Uh, let's take a short break and we'll see if we can match up some critters with these other activities. Home security is now available through Conway Corp. It's an advanced solution backed by people you know and trust. Customize your system with motion detectors, sensors, light controls, and more. All managed from your wireless touchscreen or mobile phone. It's an easy way to protect the things that matter and the ones who matter most. It's safety for you. Powered by Conway Corp. Welcome back. Let's see, our, our next uh, activity is a banjo player. And uh, let's see, who would be, a, how about a duck playing the banjo? Okay, when I draw a character, whether it's a person or a bird or whatever, I like to put its arm and hand right on the musical instrument, in this case, a banjo. Uh, let me pause a moment and tell you, as I've done before, that when a cartoonist has a bird, well, like the owl or this duck, uh, his wing and his feathers at the end become an arm and a hand. And so that's the way it is with our musical duck. Uh, I don't know whether he's a bluegrass picker or what, but in any case, he's also a vocalist in the group, so his mouth is open and maybe he's singing uh, Oh Susanna or something. Anyway, he's happy with it, whether, <laughs> whether people around him are or not. And uh, since he's bluegrass, let's, let's put him well, I'll just put a cap on him. And we put to something that kind of looks like musical notes to show the plink plunk and the, and the lyrics. So there's my banjo playing duck. We've had two fowls in a row. Why not add a third one? They're cowboy. How about a, a rooster <laughs> as a cowboy? Well, I like to draw my roosters with a big grin on their face. And if he's a, if he's a cowboy rooster, his 10 gallon hat may cover up the comb that I usually draw on a rooster. Anyway, now here he is. He's, Notice again the hands on a, one of our feathered friends. And he's got his gun belt and he, you can't see his gun, it's on the other side. And uh, he's one of those cowboys that likes to wear a vest, so. Uh, he's not altogether dressed for, the, for this picture, but He's got the essential cowboy items, I guess, except for the bandana. So there's our cowboy rooster. <laughs> well, we've had three feathered critters in a row. Now our last one 
is, I've got it labeled as the boss, I put it in quotation marks, meaning, of course, that uh, uh, he's the one that makes all the decisions. So if, if you're thinking about maybe a business or you might think of the, the big man in a, seated at a big desk, let's have this frog as the boss. And if you're drawing an animal or a person, you want to show that they feel that they're important. And I think maybe this expression would uh, uh, show that. S sitting at his big old desk with a push button and there are a lot of other things I could put on the, on the thing. I, if this is a large business or something, we might have a sales chart or something in the background there. And he's got his mouth open as if he's talking to one of his subordinates out, out in front of the desk. I don't have room, don't have room to show that, but uh, let's just say that he's exerting his boss's power in this manner. You're fired. So there's a bunch of characters, a glad-handing political dog, a hitchhiking cat, Professor Al, Bluegrass Billy the Duck, Western-looking barn, otherwise barnyard fowl, and then a a bossy frog. Well, that's all for Mr. Foy's easel this time. Remember, you can contact Mr. Foy's easel at conwaycorp.com. Home security is now available through Conway Corp. It's an advanced solution backed by people you know and trust. Customize your system with motion detectors, sensors, light controls, and more. All managed from your wireless touchscreen or mobile phone. It's an easy way to protect the things that matter and the ones who matter most. It's safety for you. Powered by Conway Corp.